Hello friends, welcome back to Sabir CAD. In this tutorial video, I'll explain the procedure to create the wall layout as well as the foundation of this single story residence using the Bricks CAD software. We have already seen the procedure to create this residence using AutoCAD software. But when you model in BricsCAD, you will get an idea about the difference in approaches between these two softwares and you can get familiarized yourself with certain tools in BricsCAD with which you can save a lot of time and effort when you perform such a modeling. We have already seen that the BricsCAD software is made up of five different modules and you can switch over from one module to another interactively. Out of these five modules, shape module is completely free and we are going to create this 3D house using the shape module. If you haven't explored the BricsCAD software already, please click on the link provided at the comment section to download and practice a 30 day trial version. So let's get started. All the required dimensions to construct the 3D house is given in this drawing. I have provided a link at the description section of this video to download this drawing. Now I'll open BricsCAD. Click on shape module. I'll choose shape centimeter as the unit and I'll click on new drawing. You can see a human icon here. And this icon can be used as a reference to get an idea about the view. You can get rid of this icon by turning off the layer in which it is kept or you can delete it. I'll delete this icon. So I'll select this icon using a window. Then I'll hit the delete button of the keyboard. Next I'll click on the visual styles button in the vertical toolbar to get the visual styles panel. Then I'll reduce the perspective to zero. Now I'll click on this particular point in the look from widget so that I'll get a top front left isometric view. Next we will create the wall. In the given drawing the outer dimensions of the walls are given. Here this is 1370 then 716 downwards, 78 leftward etc. Let's create a wall layout using these dimensions. In BricsCAD, you can create walls using the PolySolid tool. So I'll click on PolySolid tool and I'll start from a point here. Then I'll turn the ortho mode on by pressing the F8 function key so that the movement of the cursor is restricted to horizontal and vertical directions. So I'll press F8. Next, I can control the justifications. In the given figure, the outer dimensions of the wall is given. So the existing justification is correct. Suppose if you want to change the justification that can be done by holding down the control key. Now when I hold the control key the justification is changed. Now I'll press it once more you can see that it is center justified. Now I'll go back to the outer justification. Next I'll type the distance of 1370. Give enter. Next I'll move the cursor in the negative y direction and I'll type the distance 716 then to negative x direction 78 next again negative y direction 414 then to negative x direction 450 then 414 again then 438 then 330 in the positive y direction then 404 in the negative x direction. Then you can connect with the start point. Now you can see the preview of the height of the wall getting changed. And you can specify the exact value of the height. I'll give 300 as the height. If required, you can specify the width of the wall. The existing width is given as 25 but in the drawing the width is 24. You can access the width 
by pressing the tap key. I'll type 24. Now we have completed the outer wall. Next we will create the partition walls. So I'll click on poly solid tool. Then start from this end point. And I don't have to change the justification of the wall. And I'll click on this perpendicular. Then I'll right click to specify the wall height. Keep the cursor in the downward direction and type 300. Now I'll create the partition wall over here. Poly solid. Start from this end point. Now you have to change the justification. So I'll hold on the control key. Now this is the correct one. Now click on this end point. Right click. Keep the cursor in the downward direction and type 300. Next I'll create a partition wall corresponding to this wall. So I'll take a copy of this wall and I'll keep it over here. So I'll click on the copy tool. I'll choose this wall and this is the base point. When you are asked to specify the second point, you can track this point. And you will see the tick marks corresponding to the tracking. Move the cursor and when the point of tracking is identified, just left click here and give an enter. Next I'll click on poly solid again and I'll start from this end point to this perpendicular and I'll change the justification by holding down the control key. Now right click and specify the wall height as 300. Next I'll construct this partition wall which is at a distance of 150 units from this end point. So I'll click on poly solid. I'll track this point and I'll move the cursor in the X direction and I'll type the distance of 150. Now you can see that the justification has to be changed. So I'll click on the control key. And this is the right justification. And I'll left click to choose this perpendicular point. Then give enter. Then straight down. The height of the wall is again 300. Next I'll create this partition wall. Poly solid. I'll start from this midpoint to this perpendicular and right click to specify the height of the wall which is 300. Then press tab key to change the width of the wall which is 10 units. Next we have to create another partition wall at a distance of 80 units from this wall. Instead of using poly solid tool, I'm going to copy this wall. So I'll click on copy tool. This is the wall, enter, base point is this end point and I'll keep the cursor in the post to x-axis direction and I'll type a distance of 80 plus wall thickness. Give an enter. Now you can just check whether this distance is 80. So I'll click on the distance tool and this is the first point and this is the second point. Now the distance is displayed as 80. Next we have to reduce the thickness of this wall. For that, I'll change my view by orbiting the view. Just select this face. You can apply the push-pull tool. Just click on that tool. Keep the cursor in the minus x axis direction and type 14 because the required width is 10. So I'll type 14. Now the thickness of the wall is reduced. In fact, there are two cutouts here. We have to create these openings. That can be done very easily in BricsCAD, select this face and click on extrude, move the mouse all the way towards post to y direction. You can make a cutout and repeat the same operation in the opposite side. I'll choose the face, select extrude and move the mouse. Next I'll give a union command to combine the outer wall and the partition walls. I'll click on Union and you select all these subjects using a crossing window. Now you can see that it's all combined as a single object. So this is how you create the partition walls and the outer wall. Now we will create the wall layout using another alternate method. For that you have to create the line drawing of the wall layout. You have to first prepare a line drawing using the polyline command. Now I have already prepared this line drawing. I'll switch over to the isometric view. Next I'll use the polysolid command. Then I'll use the entity option. 
So to execute entity option, you can either type E or you can just give an enter. Now you can select the entity, which is the outer wall profile. Next, we have to specify the wall thickness. I'll hit tab key and I'll type 24. Then hit tab again to give the height of the wall. I'll type 300. You can change the justification if required. In this case, I don't have to change the justification. I'll give an enter. Now let's check the distance. This was originally 1370. So I'll click on the distance tool. This is the first point and the second point. It's 1370. Next, we have to create the partition walls. Again, polysolid. Just give enter to execute the entity option. Select this and the previously given height and the width will remain as default. So you can just give an enter. Again, polysolid. Give enter to execute the entity option. Select the entity. The height and width will remain there. So just give an enter. Likewise, you can complete the wall layout. If you find this method more easy, you can stick to this procedure. Next, I'll create the plinth or foundation using a polyline. I'll click on polyline tool and I'll start from this point and I'll pick all these endpoints. And from here, the distance is 298, which can be obtained from the given plan drawing. Then 280 in the negative y direction. Then I'll draw a perpendicular. Then I'll click on rest of the endpoints. Now give an enter. Next I'll extrude this polyline to complete the foundation. So I'll click on extrude. Then click on the polyline, give an enter and height of extrusion is 45. So keep the cursor in the downward direction and type 45. It's always better to systematically organize various objects in various layers. So I'll click on the stack sheet icon on the vertical toolbar to get the layer panel. Then I'll click on create new layer icon and I'll create a layer with the name walls. Then I'll give a particular color for the walls layer. Let it be uh, this color. Then I'll create one more layer by clicking on the new layer icon. Then I'll call this layer as foundation. And I'll give a different color for the foundation layer. Next I'll transfer the wall and foundation to the respective layers. For that, hold down the control key and hover the cursor over the wall object. Then you will get a 3D solid tooltip. Here, click on the pop-up list corresponding to layer and click on the walls layer. So the walls are taken to the walls layer. I'll repeat the same procedure for the foundation. Hence, in this tutorial, we have created 3D walls and the foundation of this single storied residence using the shape module of BricsCAD software. Hope this tutorial was useful and informative. In the next tutorial, we will insert objects such as doors, windows, etc. on different locations on the 3D wall. Until I catch you in the next tutorial, with this topic, bye bye and take care. Thanks for your time.